Before we go into the concepts of electrical power systems, we need to understand first what is a power system, right? So, a power system majorly it consists of generation, then transmission and after transmission there is going to be distribution system. What happens here? The electrical power is generated, right? It is in the name itself, power is generated. And after the power is generated, it has to be transmitted to the area where it is going to be used, right? So, the power that is generated is then given to a transmission system. Now, the transmission system, it transmits the power at a higher voltage as compared to the generation, okay? Power is transmitted at a higher voltage compared to generation. This is because the power loss will be reduced when the voltage is high. Okay? So, you here you have a step up voltage transformer. Right? If voltage is stepped up, then the current is stepped down. Right? Because the power is going to remain same. Now, after it is transmitted, it is going to reach a substation where the voltage is stepped down, right. So, here you have a step down voltage transformer. Now, this stepping up of voltage and stepping down, this happens in a substation, okay. And there is not just going to be one single substation here and one single substation here. There is going to be a network of substations, right. A network of substations are required. Now, finally, what happens in the distribution system? The power is delivered to the final customers, right? So, these customers can be either domestic or they can be commercial to final customers. If it is domestic customer, that means in our houses, what will be the voltage that is available? It will be 220 to 240 volt. Okay. And if it is commercial customers, this will depend on their usage. If it is a huge factory, then the voltage level will be in the range of kilovolts. Okay. If that much power is not required, if it is a small scale factory, then it is going to require lesser voltage. Lesser voltage is enough. So, this is depends on the requirement. So, this is a rough overview of a power system. Now, here in our course, what are the concepts that we are going to cover? We are going to cover some transmission concepts. Okay, so, this is all about the transmission lines, their parameters and some constructional features. Okay, and next we are going to cover distribution systems. So, there are going to be various types of distribution systems. Okay. Next, we are going to cover load flow analysis and faults. This is one important topic. And next is the power system stability. So, each of these concepts you will get a clarity once we get to it. Next is protection system. So, here we are going to cover relays and circuit breakers. And finally, there are some smaller topics, some generation concepts we will cover and finally, economic load dispatch. Okay. So, these are all of the topics that we are going to cover in this course.